Hello friends, I'm Oom and today we're diving into the fantastic world of Linux again and see some amazing Linux applications from GNOME. So let's get started. So the first app in our list is Waters. You see Waters is a free and open source application that allows you to run Windows applications and games on Linux. It does this by creating an isolated environment also called Waters that contains all the necessary components for the Windows software to run on Linux. This may include Windows library, dependencies and some system files. And you see the best part about this application is, it does not create a virtual machine of the full operating system just to run a single Windows application. Instead, it just runs all the dependencies and a few libraries which are important for the application only. And by these things, you save a lot of RAM, a lot of CPU power, and in result, we get a very nice application performance on Linux. You see, Bottle offers several features that makes it very easy to manage and run Windows applications on Linux. For example, pre-configured environments for different sort of softwares, it has an integrated dependency manager, it has tools for optimizing performance, and we also get the functionality for backup and restore. And that is why, in my opinion, Bottles is a great option for those Linux users who want to run Windows applications and softwares without having to install a separate Windows partition on a virtual machine or just installing it on another partition of your hard drive. And it saves a lot of hassle. You see, Bottles is amazing for running Windows applications and softwares. But what about games? Windows games needs proper framework to run on Linux. And that is why GNOME has another application, Cartridges. If I'm pronouncing correct, Cartridges is a game launcher for Linux that helps you organize and launch all your games from a single interface. It simplifies by managing games from various sources like Steam, Lutris, Heroic, and it eliminates the need to switch between different launchers. You see, we can import games from various sources, we can sort, hide, search for games easily, and we can download cover art for game just in case you want to show that to other people and it integrates very well with GNOME search providers for easy access and that is why in my opinion if you are a Linux gamer looking for a user-friendly way to manage your game's library cartridges is a great option to consider but you see not everyone is a hardcore fan of windows software who wants to run them on linux or not a gamer some people just want to chill on linux and that is why we have Ambrol. Ambrol is a minimalistic music player for Linux, designed for simplicity and comes with a clean aesthetic. Unlike feature-rich media players and all those functionalities which are too complex and complicated for us, this application focuses only on playing music files. It keeps all the things straightforward, perfect for those users who just want a basic music player without any bells and whistles. And you see some of its quick rundown key features are like playing music files locally, it has an intuitive user-friendly interface, and it adapts UI color based on the album art for a dynamic look, and it has functionalities of shuffle and repeat, and it integrates with MPRIS for system media controls. Well, I guess we had enough of chill and gaming stuff, let's move to some professional stuff. Starting with Apostrophe. Apostrophe is a free and open source markdown editor designed for distraction-free writing experience on Linux. It offers a clean and minimalistic user interface that helps you focus on your writing without any clutter. And it has a distraction-free mode. It minimalizes distraction by hiding menus and toolbars, allowing you to concentrate solely on your writing. And it has live previews, providing a real-time preview of your formatted text as you type, ensuring that whatever you type and make, you can see the final output as you go in. And it has multiple themes. It offers light, dark, sepia themes to suit your preference and provides a comfortable writing environment. And this one has amazing export capabilities. It allows you to export your documents in various formats, including PDF, MS Word, LibreOffice, LaTeX, and even more HTML slideshows and even more. So the next app in the list is Switcheroo, I guess I'm pronouncing correctly, which was formerly known as Converter. It's a free and open source image converter app for Linux. It's known for its user-friendly interface and efficient image conversion capability. You see it supports various image formats like JPEG, PNG, 
web p a v i f h e i f a lot more than that and we can convert multiple images at once which saves a lot of time and effort and we can adjust the output quality of each or maybe mass produce the stuff and we can resize our images to specific dimensions or use a preset and all of it can be applied to all the files at one click or you can just do that manually with everyone and mass produce them and we can also set background color to none or i should say you can easily create transparent images i guess it just might be useful for a lot of people including me but now let's move to a step further let's go even more professional and that is why the next app in our list is builder you see builder is an integrated development environment also known as ide specifically designed for creating gnome application on linux for linux it provides a comprehensive set of tools and features to streamline the development process which includes all gnome integration the built in support for gnome technology like gtk plus gnome api glib all of them and it has advanced coding editing features like syntax highlighting auto completion code navigation all that stuff and it has a great project management and it also integrates with git and you can also debug to identify and fix errors in the code and it has a feature for live preview so you can see how your application looks in the final result along with you know coding in the real time this is actually nice and it directly integrates with the gnome desktop pre installed like just might be the best development application for those who want to create linux apps and now let's move to the next application let me introduce you gnome boxes it's a virtualization application pre installed on many linux distributions which comes with gnome desktop it allows a user to create manage and run virtual machines on their linux systems like this is the most simplest and easiest virtual machine creating application and it is the most user friendly one too and it has all the features you might need to just create a virtual machine and i don't think so i've need to you know explain it way too much because everybody knows what a virtual machine is but if you don't well what can i say consider yourself grateful to say the truth that you not dived into linux so deeply because if you did you'll be obsessed with this thing and if you're like me who doesn't want his data stolen by microsoft google and other companies you might just love an application which is beautiful simple efficient elegant minimal whatever you want to say this is a browser made by gnome for gnome let me introduce you gnome web formerly known as or still known as epiphany it prioritizes a clean and minimal user interface allows us to focus on web content itself and it integrates seamlessly with the gnome desktop and it has amazing built-in ad blocker and intelligent tracking prevention which helps your privacy while browsing and we can open multiple web pages simultaneously and easily switch between them like any other web browser and it has features or functionalities or bookmarks and history like any other web browser but the thing which i love about this is that gnome web or epiphany is the fastest and the best web browser i've ever used on a linux machine it is the fastest the smoothest just best and that's why i wanted to include it and with that being said i hope you enjoyed the video and if you do then subscribe for daily dose of awesome linux content uploaded on this channel and i'll meet you in the next video till then i'm signing out